So I just sat down to edit this video and I realized that I forgot to make an intro for this episode. So this is what you're stuck with. Good morning, weekenders. It's another beautiful weekend in California, of course. And I'm gonna start off my weekend with a quick little 5K over here in Bakersfield. I still don't really have any uh, set plans for this weekend. There's a couple things that I would like to do, but I don't really know for sure yet what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. But last night I discovered that there's a 5K going on in Bakersfield, so I figured I might as well go start out the weekend with a quick little 5K. So evidently this race is on the C-Sub campus, and I'm a little lost. I don't really know where to go to sign up for this race. All right, so I found the registration thing, and uh, it turns out that you see right here where it says 5K Fun Run? Well, evidently that means that they're not timing you or anything. So I don't really know what to expect with this run. I don't know how many people are gonna be here or really what the deal is at all. There's no numbers, so I don't know. I guess it'll be kind of cool running through the campus, but it's also orientation day, which is kind of weird. So there's all kinds of uh, noob students walking around and uh, trying to figure out where to go. And there's also a run going on, kind of weird. turns out that this actually was a race not just a fun run but they don't give you numbers they have someone standing at the finish line with a little uh, timer thing and they record your time when you run across the line and give you a little piece of paper and uh, as you can see the number three it said it means third place overall so I ended up doing it it was exactly 3.1 miles and uh, I ended up doing it in 21 minutes flat so pretty good time and try and break 20 and I knew that was not gonna happen but I said you know what I'll stick with you as long as I can so I ended up running with him for the first mile and then he kind of left me and right after that there was two more guys that caught up to us and one of them went up and ran with the fast guy and another guy ran with me so I had a little bit of a sprint finish for third place and I ended up taking home the win in that sprint and the guy who said he wanted to go sub 20 ended up getting first place overall. But since he didn't do it in under 20 minutes, first, second, third, and fourth were, were all within one minute of each other. So pretty close race and definitely glad that I did it. I was a little nervous whenever it said fun run, but uh, it ended up being an actual fun run. So I guess it was pretty accurate. Well guys, I am back at the airport and this time I'm actually taking over my hanger for the crusty duster and as you can see it's much smaller than the hanger that uh, my plane is in now so I guess I need to put my plane in this hanger Well, I have failed at filming once again, guys. Uh, the battery actually ended up being dead on the plane, so it wouldn't start. And then I went and got a, a little connector so I could tow it with my truck. And then I met up with some guy, and he actually offered to help me move it. So we got to move in the plane and talk, and, and I just didn't film any of the plane moving. But the plane is in my hangar now, so now I just need to go get some sort of shelving unit or something so I can uh, put
put all my stuff inside the hangar. So off to Home Depot. Well, I got a bunch of the supplies that I needed for the hangar. Uh, I'm gonna set up this little shelf, probably in the corner right over here and uh, start putting some stuff up. Well, I got the shelf put up and a uh, couple of random items put on there. I still need to get some other things that will be going on the shelf. I also need to get a battery charger for this battery. That way it'll stay uh, good. And also, my next project will be to take off the Cardinal Cavalier and install some new stickers that say the Krusty Duster. So special thanks to uh, Quentin Vanway for coming up with the Krusty Duster name. I don't know why, but it's just fun to say. And even though the plane isn't that crusty, it's just a pretty good name. So I'm gonna send you a dollar. Finally got back home. Been running back and forth to the airport all day, it seems like. It's getting fairly late and uh, I'm not really doing much else today. So day one of episode uh, 17, I think this is, is now drawing to a close. And day two will start right now. So I just got out of the shower. It is Sunday morning now. I still don't really have any exact plans, I guess, as far as races or anything. So I was thinking I'll probably just switch it up a bit and go ride some dirt bikes. <laughs> Where's the nearest to Dunkin' Donuts? Here's what I found. Hey guys, so uh, I'm actually heading out to Lake Isabella. Don't know if I told you guys that already or not, but that's where I'm gonna be riding dirt bikes today, so gotta hit the road. So I made it to Lake Isabella. Uh, since I loaded up the electric bike second, that means it's gonna be the first one out. And so I'm gonna go ride that thing around a little bit. Probably right here on these little trialsy rocks. And uh, maybe go up into the hills a little bit. So I'm gonna go kill the battery on that thing before I go on my big ride.
Well, I am back in Shafter, folks, and believe it or not, it's a little warm over here. And it was freezing cold in Lake Isabella. I actually didn't get to finish the ride that I was uh, going there to do because it just got really cold and really windy, like 20 something mile an hour winds the whole time. So that part sucked, the cold and the wind both. But the ride itself was awesome. Very glad that I went and really want to go back again sometime. I don't know if I had more fun riding trials on the electric bike or doing the actual trails on the two wheel drive bike. But uh, both of them were actually very fun, so it doesn't really matter which was more fun. One thing that is not very fun though, unloading the van. Well, the van is unloaded, dirt bikes are back inside the house, e-bike is charging up for tomorrow, and uh, that's going to be it for today and this weekend. I still got to make this video and get ready for work tomorrow. So, see you all next weekend, viewers. Croissant!